25 things to do on old school runescape mobile whether you're checking up on your phone every now and again when you're out and about you want to make some gains or you want to play runescape mobile whilst multitasking doing other things like watching some tv whatever it is i don't recommend anything that's too intense that's why these methods are afk slightly afk or just don't require that much click accuracy so here's 25 ideas you could be doing on osrs mobile for higher or low levels but this is more directed to the more experienced player first up manacle monkeys during the monkey madness 2 quest you can afk train melee here for 10 minutes at a time when you use the dragon bone necklace and the bone crusher your prayer literally just lasts forever and you can get around 100,000 melee XP per hour at max combat. And yeah, 10 minutes AFK at a time, because you have to re aggro them. Wyverns requires 72 Slayer and Elemental Workshop to equip the Elemental Shield. I recommend at least 80 ranged. And you can AFK for a minute at a time while safe spotting them, and then you just gotta pick up the loot and you can make upwards of 600k per hour. Making house tabs. If you have 67 construction, you can do it in your own house. However, I was doing it in someone else's house in World 30. It only requires 40 magic. I was getting about 25,000 magic XP per hour and 200 to 300k profit per hour and I can AFK for over a minute at a time. So a very low level money making method there. You can do this whether you're free to play it or a member. Willow trees only requires 30 wood cutting can do them in the wall cutting guild right next to a bank, drain or village right next to a bank, barbarian outpost, depending on your level, 30 to 50,000 wall cutting XP per hour, and the tree hardly goes down, so pretty AFK. Yew tree is requiring 60 wall cutting, again, free to play, however, if you're a member, I recommend coming to the wall cutting guild, you get an invisible wall cutting boost, and the right next to the bank, XP per hour, 30 to 50k XP per hour, profit, not the best, 70k GP, but it does add up, because I did these when I was doing wall cutting, just AFKing, playing on a different account but yeah it just depends when the tree goes down they can be really afk you can afk a full invent or it could go down after two it just depends magic trees 75 will cut in if you want a little bit more profit 100k profit per hour a bit more afk than the u trees because you chop them a lot slower xp per hour not the best around 15 to 20 thousand xp per hour i'd say do teak trees but you have to manually drop them because they're nowhere near a bank but my personal favourite, Redwood Trees, I did these all the way to 99 because you can literally cut a full inventory without having to do anything. And a full inventory takes a few minutes, so it was perfect for me editing videos and that's why I'm level 99. 60,000 XP per hour and plus the profit really does add up. It's like 50k profit per hour but... Cause i was there for so long it really did add up splashing i did this on my alt account because well i didn't have to do anything i could just play a different account and just click every few minutes literally just one click that's all you have to do so you don't log out i was doing fire wave which requires 75 magic pretty expensive but i was getting 50,000 000 magics per hour you could do fire strike requiring mind runes which is so cheap you still get 14k xp per hour doing that cooking just in general even if you're free to play just anything like lobsters get 160,000 xp per hour and most foods you make a profit on for example sharks 270,000 xp per hour and you can afk for a minute at a time so that's an easy 99 right there in mobile meleeing gargoyles requiring 75 slayer at least 80 plus melee stats and i recommend having guthans and a saradom and god so you can just camp there or to retaliate on and also having the auto smash thing so you don't have to do anything all you have to do is loot super afk and 500k profit per hour plus really good xp per hour too smithing dart tips i was doing iron dart tips which only requires 25 smithing i was making 200k profit per hour 27,000 smithing xp per hour and i could afk for a minute and a half at a time you can do the higher level dart tips for less profit but more xp for example rune dart tips 89 smithing you don't lose anything but you don't make anything but 80,000 xp per hour for AFK and for a minute and a half at a time. Very good choice. AFK and dragon bones on a gilded altar, 250,000 per XP per hour. Can AFK for a minute at a time. Slayer, most tasks at AFK, you can literally just whip on proselyte and pray melee, drink a prayer pot every few minutes, and it's really good XP per hour, because obviously you got the boost from the Slayer Helm. I'm actually hiding my helmet because 
I'm a bit too embarrassed because I don't have a Slayer helmet. I actually can make one, I just don't have one on the account because I don't train Slayer. But yeah, also not only are you getting melee XP, you're also getting Slayer XP and potential profit too. Slayer is just a really good option. Motherload mine for AFK mining XP. Again, it depends how much you can AFK. It's not the most AFK, but like all you have to do is just click every now and again. It really does depend on your level on the XP and the profit per hour. For example, if you're level 70, you should get about 30,000 XP per hour and 150k profit per hour. But when you're level 85, you should expect to get around 40,000 XP per hour and 300k profit per hour. Because then you can get rune ores. Ammonite Crabs, which requires the Bone Voyage quest to access Fossil Island. One of my favourite training spots, I did it on my new account. If you guys have been watching my new series, I did most of my range levels there because you can AFK for 10 minutes at a time. You just need to re aggro them. They don't hit anything. They have zero defense, 100 HP. And there's a few three spots all along the coast. So you should be able to find a world. And also, they drop fossils, which you can trade into the Varrett Museum. Like I said, if you've been watching my new series, I went from 1 to 60 agility without doing a single agility course. I just got it from fossils and XP lamps from quests. By the way, if these methods are helping you out and you'd be interested in seeing a part two, I'd be up for that. Just let me know by giving the video a like. And then monkfish, 40,000 XP per hour, requires 62 plus fishing and the swan song quest. You also make about 100k GP per hour. Super, super, super AFK. Catching raw carambams requires 65 fishing, the Tybo won a trio quest, and fairy rings. You can literally AFK a full invent because the spot hardly ever moves. You make 300k profit per hour and 30k XP per hour too. Barbarian fishing, you can do this at level 58, you'll get about 35,000 XP per hour. Level 70, 50,000 XP per hour, and level 80, 60,000 XP per hour. Usually the spot doesn't move for a whole invent and what you can do on mobile is click this button here and you just spam click your invent and it'll drop it all. Bursting which requires 70 magic or barraging 94 magic, ancient spell book and monkey madness 1 or recommended to have monkey madness 2 a lot better xp there upwards of 250,000 mage xp per hour. Depends on your prayer level, how AFK it is, and if you have a bone crusher and if you leave mystic might on or not. If you don't have mystic might on any of your bone crusher, you can AFK for a couple minutes. And don't do what I did, I forgot I still had that shift click drop option on, and I went to chin, and I dropped my stuff, and for a moment I was like, oops, I forgot my void range helm. Just deal with a void mage helm, just pretend it's void range helm, and I forgot. I dropped my stuff and yeah, uh, oh my, I, I started to panic. I dropped the prayer pot and I almost, <laughs> I almost got KO'd. Chinning, I don't really recommend AFK in this too much because you could do it moving about to gather the monkeys, but it's possible on mobile because all you have to do is just click about a bit and drink a prayer pot and you can get over 600 to potentially even 900,000 range XP per hour. Herbruns. I was doing Toad Fact, which only requires 38 farming. Depends how many patches you've got unlocked, but you should make anywhere between 70 to 120k profit per run, and it only takes a few minutes, and you can do it every 70 minutes or so. You're not playing RuneScape today, but you're outside, but you forgot to do your daily farm run, so now's your opportunity. Mutated Blood Veld in the Catacombs only requires 50 Slayer. They have 170 hit points. There's five of them. It's multi-combat. So what you do is you tag all of them, you whack on your proselyte and you protect melee and you AFK for a couple minutes, get insane XP per hour and also they drop blood runes. Very good training spot. The same applies to a lot of monsters, you can just AFK with proselyte and protect melee up, but another good option are dust devils in the catacombs requiring 65 slayer and a face mask or a slayer helmet and you can make upwards of 300 to 400k profit per hour too. Brutal black dragons requires 77 slayer and I'd recommend at least 90 range. It depends on your gear. I was in max gear here with the Dragon Hunter Crossbow and the Dragon Fire Ward, which is really expensive with the Ruby Bolt E and the Diamond Bolt E's. I forgot food because obviously every time you spec it drains your health. But yeah, you can make upwards of a mil per hour here. Lastly, flipping on the Grand Exchange where you buy items for less and you sell for more. Recommended to have a fair amount of money for this. Obviously, the more you have, the more you can potentially make but there's actually no requirements for this and it's just perfect for old school runescape mobile because you can be outside just living life and 
you know, check your phone and update your Grand Exchange every now and again. Because you don't have to be constantly flipping all the time, you know what I mean? Like, you need to wait for stuff to buy and sell. But yeah, this has been 25 things to do on Old School RuneScape Mobile. Like I said, if it helped you out, a like would be appreciated. And let me know if you want to see part two and put in the comment section below any other ideas you have.